The last step is to mount the pen slide on the front of the Y slide and then secure all the cables with P clips. So first of all, to mount the pen slide, use the 12mm screw from the previous step, pass it through the mounting hole, then using the posi driver number 2 screwdriver, locate the pen slide over the ends of the Y rails and tighten the screw up. Here's a close-up of the pen slide being installed. The two holes in the back of the pen slide should locate over the ends of the Y rails. These protrude slightly from the, the front Y block. So make sure the ends locate over the Y rails and then using the Fuzzy drive number two screwdriver, tighten it up and check the travel of the pen slide. Now we've got bag 11, which is cable clips. Open that up and we can start securing the cables. First is the X motor. So we plug in the X motor cable and then secure it with a cable clip and screw and washer using the PosiDrive 2 screwdriver. Next we're going to plug in the Y motor cable to the motor on the carriage. And we're going to secure both it and the servo cable with to the same point with clips. So we want to pull the servo cable pull the Y axis fully forwards to extend the servo cable. And we want to hold the cables about that position there. By holding them, just move the Y axis backwards and forwards and check that the servo cable flexes freely and doesn't snag on anything. Once you're satisfied it's well out the road, you can then mount both of them with cable clips. One there. and one about there. One screw through both of the cable clips and screw it to the top of the Y carriage, the top of the main carriage. Check the travel again, it's still good. Last job is to move the carriage fully to the right and we'll hold both the Y motor and servo cables to the left here. Move the carriage left and right and again check that they don't snag on anything. The bunch up and flex freely. So both of these are going to be attached to the same point with the cable clips again.
clamp them so the cables are vertical. Check the travel of the carriage again. It still moves freely. Lastly, take the short piece of spiral wrap, remember from previous stages, and wrap it round both of the Y motor and servo leads. This just keeps them together. Like so. So they both flex together. Pat down the cables underneath. And that is the axi draw fully assembled. It's now time to connect it up to the computer and start running some software.